at Metropole TVKE across all your social media platforms. My name is Simba Elijah Charles Kanga. Welcome to your official sector trends this morning. Let's introduce that topic before we introduce the guests that we have in the studio. Now, counting farms are an important partner to business owners due to their wide range of services that they provide to help businesses and companies to be tax compliant, stay financially organized, which results in business growth. Today, we help you understand why you really need a business consultant at your business. Well, joining us in the studio this morning, it is Charles Njuguna, who is a business consultancy partner, Prolific Business Consultants. Charles, good morning, sir. Good morning to you. Welcome to Metropole Television. Thank you. Let me begin like this. Congratulations, Paul, for being vetted as the best accounting firm in Nairobi. What are the things that actually get an accounting firm to be the best in, in, in that area? Uh, thanks for having me this morning. And uh, for us, I think it's the word out there. Yes. The value we've added to our clients. Yes. Out of our resultant of our interactions with them. And I think that's, that's one of the things that we celebrate today as a milestone. Yes. Having brought value to them that they are able to see beyond the, the figures. Yes. Because and as an accounting firm, is beyond the figures, being able to tell the story beyond the figures that are presented to them. Yes. The glare yes. of the figures. And I think that's what we celebrate today by that award. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the basics of that then. When you have smaller businesses coming up with uh, uh, business ideas and they want to start a business, you'll find that some people are not usually needed in that business for quite some time until the business tends to grow. Talk to me. When you're consulting for business, you're telling them that you need an accounting consultancy to come to you and tell you exactly how you're supposed to run your business. What is the importance of that? And is it good for you to have that as a consultancy or just somebody within that firm or within your business to help you with those uh, nets? Uh, I'll start the story. Uh, if you've read the book of Emith yes. by, uh, by Michael Gaba, it talks about the story... The three, the three personalities of an entrepreneur. There's the entrepreneur, there's the manager, and the technician. Yes. In most cases, when an entrepreneur starts off the journey, he's the technician. He does everything. And with the growth of business, when it started probably serving one client, he's able to manage that. Yes. But with time and also with the process of growth, there's a point where the business outlives and outgrows the person. So that's where a consultant, an accounting consultant comes in. One who is able to look through the, the business, yes. walk and tag along the entrepreneur. Yes. They're able to work with them in, in the process of the business growth. As the business grows, we're able to tag along with them, be able to see the you know, business from an, uh, an, an aerial point of view. Uh, 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 Bad's eye view. Yes. Beyond us walking the journey, beyond just delivering the good and the service, what is the process? The supply chain, how do we manage the supply chain? How do we manage the cash flow? How do we manage the strategic partnerships that comes on board? Those are the questions that the entrepreneur will be bogged with and sort of come to a place of, I, they do not know how to go around. And that's why we tag along as a consultant with them. We are working with them as they build their business. They have their creative idea. Yes. But the how of doing it, they may not have. Probably for them, they know, I need to deliver this pen. But the how of doing it, they may produce, a, uh, they may produce the, the pen. Yes. But the how to get it to the market is now why they tag along an accounting consultant who goes beyond the numbers, looking at the numbers and being able to advise them on how to go forward. Pretty much. All right, so when you look at smaller businesses, especially in the Kenyan setting, would you advise, number one, have an internal accountant who you're paying on the payroll monthly to help you with these with this decisions, or rely on firms like yours, Charles, 
so that you can work with them. Which one is a better pan lens, especially when you look at it from all perspectives, cost included? As an entrepreneur starts off, yes. uh, there's a journey. Both have pros and cons. If the manager knows the, the business quite well, yes. an internal person works out very well. Because it's somebody who just puts in the dot. But having an external person, an external accounting firm, you're able to pull from a resource of, uh, a resource of various uh, professionals. Because in business, you're not just looking at numbers. In those numbers, there's the implication of tax, the implication of the budgets you're having, the implication of the return of, on the investment of your shareholders. So you need an, somebody who is, uh, and not just one person. You, you're not just limited to one person when you look to an accounting firm. An accounting firm has various experts, professionals that have been pulled together. Yes. And that's why you're able to get the, the economic advantage of having a, an, an outsourced accounting firm. Yes. Or even what we, for us, we're able to provide a service called uh, the outsourced CFO, Chief Financial Officer. Beyond that we're able to work with your internal, let's say your internal bookkeeper, be able to look into the numbers, be able to build and tell your financial story that goes beyond the numbers that are there. Yes. So there's a, the advantage of having, the, having, an, uh, having an outsourced accounting function of your business as an entrepreneur has its own very good advantages. Yes. Because you're able to pull from various, uh, various uh, members. You, from the farm, there will be tax experts. The farm will have uh, legal experts. You will have the accountants, the auditors, you know, people who look into your business processes. Yes. And so, so you're not so you're, approaching of, so you're approaching from sort of an accounting perspective, but then on yes. top of that, then you get all these other services that you would have not necessarily got true. if you didn't have all these people in your business farm, isn't it? True, true, true. Yes. You, you know, the, the accounting, uh, the accounting uh, function yes. has grown, has mutated over time. Other than just numbers, isn't it's it? It's just not numbers. Yes. You want somebody who who will be able to tell you what the numbers talk about. Yes. Today we are having, uh, you may even have a business, but there are cash flow issues. And even today, you find, even in business, there are cash flow issues that are happening. What is the story behind it? Not so you need somebody who will look at it on a critical point of view, and who is not just bogged into the processes of the company. Yes. You know, when you have an internal person, the internal intrigues of the, of the uh, he's, he is swamped by those things. Yes. But now an external person is having an objective viewpoint. Pretty much. Charles, let me know, is there a point where you say, we've worked with this business long enough, now they can go? Or once you start with a business, it's important for this business to stick with this firm? It's a journey. It's a journey. And you know... Th does the journey end? Where you say, well, now you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's working, yes. and as you walk, yes. we're, able to, we're able to allow things. We're able to look at, uh, and that's why we said, you'll be able to start from a small space. Yes. Be able to grow. Like an accountant, you'll be able to look at their books. We started with writing petty cash vouchers on paper. Today, there are firms that are doing ERP. They do not necessarily need to meet you as a person to be able to give you uh, their document. Yes. They tell you, scan it. There's a portal, put it on. So it's a journey that you grow. And that's why the advantage of having an external person what comes in. You're not, you're not limited to the person you started with. The limitation. Because you see, with one, I can do so much as, yes. a, as an individual. Yes. But when we are a pool of professionals, pool of, of, of associates, we're able to grow together and be and able to provide value to the business. Because... A business grows and yes. it has faces. Yes. So we are saying we are walking the journey from a startup, grow, grow, to even to the point you are now becoming a multi, a multi big uh, multinational company. Yes. And that's what you're looking at, smaller SMEs. You look at the, the drive of even the economy. What you're saying is, let's go back to where all this business is, to the small businesses. Let's journey with them. So... 
Into perpetuity? Probably not. Yes. But it's a long term. <laughs> but it's a long term. It's a long term. Isn't it? It's a long term. Right. So when you look at the businesses that you have worked with, Charles, so far, to the point that you're getting vetted as the best um, accounting consultancy in the country now, especially in Nairobi, let me just put it like that. Yeah. Have they realized the need? to work with you in this journey because some of the challenges to smaller businesses some of them have been marked is that number one the cost they will cut anything that comes in when they realize they're going to spend a bit extra in fact you'll be the first one to kick out for a smaller business that wants to grow they'll say we'll make these decisions by ourselves but have you changed the, the have you changed the narrative as a consultancy firm to the point that you find now businesses will come to you as opposed to you now seeking that market in these businesses? Uh, I think it's the value we present. Yes. The, the value you're able to present to the, to the business yes. vis-a-vis -vis not having it. You yes. know, it's an opportunity cost. As an entrepreneur, you're looking at me having this person work with me vis-a-vis -vis not having him. Yes. What value is he bringing? Yes. Because accounting is no longer, an, is no longer stuck to the amount I charge you. We're able to scope up and grow. There are businesses we've started off with them, you know, voluntarily giving them free services. Walk and journey with them. Yes, and on the basis that we believe they're going to make you grow. Yes, so when you start growing, then we'll come and knock on your door. True, true. Yes. And then we're able to, you see, like, in, even in the pool of, like, the people who have given us high, uh, who have held us in high regard, it's capacity building. Yes. We've been engaged with uh, other, uh, other sector, uh, uh, other sector uh, players we, where we've brought in value, pro bono, giving them value that they're able to see, mm, that is what I need in my business. And they're able to realize, because it's no longer just uh, cast on stone that I need an accountant. Today, uh, as a business person, uh, apps are all over. You can do it on the go, on your phone. Yes. Why do I need an accountant? Why do I need a consultant to come and tag along? Yes. Now, most people have, have gone back to school. Most people are now well versed with their, with their information. And they're able to know their business. Even for us, even when you come in, we are not telling you we know your business. It's you who knows the business. We are tagging along to bring value. Yes. Value that you're able to see and be able, you know, it, there's a matrix. The matrix that you're able to put up across and say, I was here. When you joined me, I've been able to raise to this point. That's the value we bring on board. Pretty much. All right. Now, let's talk to the smaller businesses who are watching you this morning and they're saying, what am I going to gain or lose if I actually don't get to work with Charles um, this morning? For a smaller business thinking, do I get into consultancy? What or why should they actually work with you, Charles? The it's, I think it's, uh, as an entrepreneur, Yes. we've looked at a point of guys don't have costing issues. They don't know how to cost their businesses. They and don't it, know how to and price. Is that, yes, and is that the biggest challenge when you look, especially when you look at smaller businesses, the costing aspect? Is that the biggest challenge for a smaller business? True, true. Yes. Because, you see, uh, like in terms of costing, yes. you're looking at a business, say... When they give you an amount, yes. give or take 10,000, yes. what is 10,000 to them? Are they able to break down that cost to be able to say, let's say, this was, this was my direct costs in terms of material, in terms of my labor, taxes I input in there? Yes. Like, you know, currently we have a challenge of when I tell you 10,000, is it VAT inclusive? Is it VAT exclusive? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, it's in that when you say 10,000, is that 10,000 in my pocket or does it have an implication in terms of taxes? Yes. Does it have in you? Am I, when I supply 10,000, am I able to pay my, the labor charge? Yes. Am I able to pay my suppliers who have supplied me in terms of that which I'm able to get? Yes. So that's the question we look at, even as an entrepreneur. One of the biggest challenges we've had with most of them is costing. Do they know how to cost their business? Yes. The products, the service that they are providing to their, to their customers, are they able to cost it correctly? Mm -hmm. To be able to either uh, be able to pay for the direct costs 
and also have margin yes. that we'll be able to bring on board. Pretty much. So we went into the COVID-19 pandemic and a lot of businesses, especially the smaller businesses, found that they had to adjust. You know, the way you were doing business in 2019 is not the same same way that you're supposed to do business in a 2020 because now you find yourself in a COVID-ridden environment. Do you think that the uptake of your services did increase in a 2020 as smaller business and bigger businesses were trying to adjust within a new tax environment and within a new business environment as opposed to 2019? Could you talk to me about that uptake? I think the uptick has also, in terms of even outsourcing the accounting function, yes, yes. COVID has brought a revolution. And employers have asked themselves the question, do I need the person? Isn't it? How, do, how do I balance this number? Yes, how I am able to balance this. Yes, yes. And do I have to have somebody full-time? Yes. Do I have to have somebody part-time? And these are critical questions the entrepreneur has asked themselves. And to probably to our advantage, some have come on board and said, fine, I, I appreciate somebody who comes here. Let's say I'm able to put in the data and somebody comes and gives me an analysis yes. towards the end of the week or towards the end of the month. And so the uptake has been positive and we're looking forward to grow and to see how the environment also morphs up. And now becomes, uh, now even, you know, the, the, the ability from people to work at home that thing also also brought a revolution. Because now the employer asks themselves, why? You know, you're able to ask, why, why do I incur this cost? If I don't need to incur it, I'm able to save on that. Yes. yes. So we, we are looking at a, at a higher uptake on, in terms of that. Pretty much. You, for a company that has won an award, uh, the, 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 the question that you expect, Charles, yes. in any setting is, what next? What are you looking into now? Especially when it comes with working with smaller businesses in the Kenyan economy. One of the things that, one of the prospects we're looking at, as I've mentioned earlier, is having, we really want to build that arm of an external CFO. That's one of the things that we're building. But also, yes. we're looking at fundraising yes. for small businesses in terms of are we able to build and tell your financial story to be able to gain strategic partnerships mm -hmm. with investors? Yes. Because you'll find in every business, in let's say in the initial place, the capital the entrepreneur puts on board is relative okay. But when the SME grows, they require more capital. And that's one of the things that we are venturing into fundraising for small uh, and medium enterprise organizations. Yes. So that's one of the things because it's in the numbers. Are we able to build a story, a financial story, to build a bankable opportunity that will attract strategic partnerships yes. into your organization and move you forward? Because at, at, uh, at their faces in business, that you will require additional capital. And that's where most of our SMEs have come. Why will a bank give you a loan? Why will you go back for, why will you go for into grants? Why will you go into uh, strategic investors? Do you have, have you aligned your financial story that can be pegged upon and a strategic person to come and partner with you? That's, that's what you're looking and at. And that's exactly what you're looking into. Yeah. All right, Charles, let's address uh, that very important point that anybody listening to today, I want to work with you. Let's talk about that costing. What are you going to offer today as a consultancy? How do you then say, Simba, your business today, we're going to work with you, and then there's exactly how much we're going to require you to pay so that we can help you have a store in your numbers, help you grow as a consultancy firm? Uh, we, will not, we will not cast our prices on stone. Yes. But we'll be able to have a conversation. And that's what we are always engaged our client. Have a conversation with you, scope up. Isn't it? And, and that has to start with my numbers. My current numbers when you walk through my door. Yes. Is that what's gonna make, is that what's gonna make uh, you know exactly what I can pay or not pay as a smaller business? You see, there's, the, there's even, you know, when you look at the cash flow, 
there's what you're willing to pay. That's it. But also there's what you're able to pay. Yes. Because you find probably you, your cash flow isn't straight right. Yes. So it's in that that we're able to have a conversation and be able to determine. And then also we are looking at the value we are bringing on board I see. to you as an organization. Yes. The value that we present to you. Yes. Pay commensurate yes. to it. Yes. Yes. Is it also packed on the value or the, uh, let me say, the return on investment that I get from working with you as a consultancy firm? Is that what is also going to determine how much I can get to pay you in return? When you look at the return on investment, yes. you're looking at, the, you see, it's like, and as you said rightfully, it's an investment you're putting on board. Yes, yes. When I tag along a consultant, it's an investment. Yes. So you're looking at, and that's why we've said the journey. It may not be into perpetuity, because probably as an investor, you weigh on your return on investment. Yes. What value are we bringing on board? And that's why even for us, the challenge is when we are giving you the price, the rate charge that we're going to pay, you, you'll be able to pay for our services. We are looking into growing it into perpetuity. Yes. And also into the value yes. that we are presenting to you every day. It is not just repeated information that you hear. Because you will give an, an entrepreneur information, month one, month two, and gets, gets to know the, then he will ask the question, what next? What next, isn't it? What next yes. for me? Yes. So you've taught me, because it's a learning process for the entrepreneur. Yes. Then, so even for us, the challenge is on us, for you to be retained as our customer, it's the value that we're presenting to you into perpetuity, into the long-term investment that we're looking at. Pretty much lastly there for Charles this morning. Would you say that when it comes to the problems facing majority of the smaller businesses here in the country, yeah. is that there's a uniform problem across the board that if it's solved by entities like you in collaboration with the bigger entities like the government, then the MSME sector will begin to tick. Talk to me from a consultancy perspective? One, uh, the, there is the macro environment yes. that we find ourselves to operate in. Yes. And that cuts across board in terms of all, all players. So in that, there's a call of even sensitizing the industrial players in terms of their, uh, their call, their rallying call to the government. Yes to be able to give us a conducive environment. But on the other, they could be specific to every, uh, you know, every entrepreneur as they start of their journey, there are critical areas they are looking at. There are critical areas, let's say in the administration, even when they, they look at their numbers, they are critical faces. And with every face of the organization, we are able to bring to you a matrix. This is what you need to look into to be able to measure yourself on this face. Because on this face, we want to look at the numbers. You're retaining value of your customer. Yes. When you grow, then the matrix will change. And now that's the journey we, we grow with you. Yes. And it's, it's quite specific on every person on their entrepreneurial journey. As you journey with them, as, and as you walk with them, yes. you're able to identify what are the bottlenecks that they are facing? So it's, it's not like, it, it's not a uniform it's thing. A uniform it's not just uniform for you, yes. but it's every person. Yes. Probably someone has been able to know, how do I overcome this? This is my tax, I have a tax issue. How do I overcome it? Yes, yes. Probably there's somebody who is still in the dark in terms of taxes and taxation. What are the tax implications on me? He's de he has dealt with people previously in, a, in the best way he knows how. Then he arises to the point he is required to have a tax compliance. Now, that's a journey. You're able to work with them. So even when we come in as a consultant, we enter into a shoe as an entrepreneur and journey with you. Get to know what are the bottlenecks, what are the hindrances, what are the, what are the constraints you're facing. Yes. Be able to identify you. You know, it's like a checklist of issues that you may be facing. They could be, we probably have learned them from the previous person we worked with. But we're able to, to take it to fit into you as, a, as, a, as, a, as an individual. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
Charles Njuguna, business consultancy partner, prolific business consultants. Thank you very much for taking your time to speak to us this morning. Thank you very much. All right, and when he's speaking, that you do know that there's a firm that has just been awarded the best consultancy in terms of accounting in Nairobi. A small reason, and Charles is saying it's not just about those numbers. Let's tell a story about your business by just looking at those numbers and advise you on exactly what you need to do. Tinker them, move to whatever direction so that it becomes a journey that is fruitful. Want to work with them? Talk to us at Metropole TVKE across all your social media platforms. I am at Kiange Simba on Twitter. We take a short break, but once we come back, I think back to normal. If you look at the banking sector in the country, majority of those banks are turning in profits upwards of 90 billion. Are we back? Is the economy back? So the question that we're asking this morning, once we come back on your economic review, on your economic review. Good morning.